Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another CD to play for you. Today's CD is Super Bean Story 20, 1940. So let's get started. Presenting the transcription feature, Superman. something to go on now. I'll have that call traced. Save yourself the trouble, Commissioner. What? You won't find anything. We've dealt with the yellow mask before. Yes, but, but where was he? What did he mean? I don't know where he was, but it's plain enough what he meant. I heard what he said about drowning every man, woman, and child like a rat. He means to destroy the dam. The dam? Commissioner. Yes? We've got till midnight. I've met the mask before and didn't come off second best. This isn't the time for boasting, Mr. King. I'm sorry, Miss Lane. Call it confidence if you like. And don't stop to split hairs. What are you going to do? You stay here, Commissioner, in case the mask sends in another message. Right. And meanwhile, Miss Lane and I will have a look at that dam. Oh, yes, and, and put in a call to the police and the National Guard. Have every available man on duty from now till midnight. Come along, Miss Lane. And keep in touch with me by phone, Kent. And lots of luck. We'll need it, Commissioner. So long. Borrowing a car, Ken and Lois Lane start at once on the lonely mountain drive to the top of the Harley Dam. And meanwhile, safe in his secret hideout near the dam, the Yellow Mask gives quick instructions to his henchman, Kino. Are you there, Kino? Come inside. Okay, boss. What's doing? There'll be a lot doing, Kino. Quite a lot. Promptly at midnight, we destroy 30,000 people. Within the next half hour, we destroy... Which two? That news reporter, Clark Kent, and his friend, Miss Lois Lane. Uh, where are they? I have been informed they are driving toward the dam in a car. You will meet that car, Kino, and carry on from there. Well, how do I stop them, boss? Very simple. Look here. You see that dynamo in the corner? Yeah. I will stop it going. I know how it runs. But you don't know how it stops, Kino. Except in the usual way. But now, see here. Hey, uh, what's that little box? A very useful invention, Kino. One of my own. Hardly bigger than a camera. But I point it at the dynamo. Watch carefully, Kino. And press this button. Hey! The dynamo would stop. Naturally. Anyone can do it. 
even you, Tino, with my little box. Uh, how's that, boy? Never mind that, Tino. The point is that it does work, and that you can work. Do you know the abandoned cabin where the road makes a right angle turn? Oh, yeah, sure. Good. You will go there and be ready when Mr. Clark Kent comes by in his car. Uh, what do I do, boss? Hide inside the cabin. When you see the car approaching, point the box to the window directly across the road. Uh, what will happen? The car will stop instantly, Tino. No fooling. Uh, why? Ignition trouble, Tino. Oh. The engine will stop running. And if you do your part thereafter, so will Mr. Kent. Okay, boss. I guess I catch on. That's all. Now go. Don't take any questions. Do you mind telling me, Mr. Kent, just what you propose to do when we get to the dam? Oh, just look around, Miss Lane. See what we can see. Do you think you'll be likely to see anything that's escaped the police? Oh, I might. Surprises do happen. Hey, here's a crossroad or a turn or something. I wonder which way we go now. Oh, don't you know the way? Well, the fellow at the garage didn't say anything about a crossroad. Well, why don't you stop and ask? Maybe there's somebody in that old cabin over there. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, we're all right. There's a sign. Harley Dam, turn right. Stopped dead, just like that. I'm not blind, Mr. Kent, nor deaf. I can see it stopped. Do you think if you brought your mind to bear, you could find out why? If you were out of gas, I filled up before we left. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Bring my mind to bear. Just sit where you are while I do it. Maybe there's something wrong with the wiring. I'll take a look. Mr. Kent, look out! Okay, boys, out of there. Hey, what's the big what idea? What are you doing? Hey, come on, folks. You've got to take the hell of a mess. Come on. Overpowered, Kent and Lois Lane are dragged away from the car and carried into the abandoned cabin by the side of the road. Kent, realizing at once from Tino's words that the mask is behind the attack, pretends weakness in the desperate hope of learning the mask's plan. Lost in a room by himself, tied hand and foot, he watches with interest as Tino enters and arranges a mechanism on the floor with wires. What are you doing there? What have you done with Miss Lane? Oh, Miss Lane? Oh, she's okay, pal. Right in the next room. Kind of restless, ain't she? Well, that won't last long. Not more than five minutes. After I get this fixed. What are you doing with that battery? Well, what do you think? I'm fixing up a nice little one-way ticket to dreamland for you and the gal both. There. Now, oh, I reckon she's set. What is that thing? Don't worry, pal. You'll find out. You're not figuring by any chance of blowing us up, are you? Smart guy. Catches right on. That's murder, Kino. Only if they catch you. I'd think twice if I were you. So it's lucky you ain't me. Well, so long, pal. Me and the rest of the boys have a date up above near the dam, and we gotta keep it. So long, and pleasant dreams. Devils, planning to blow us up. Well, there are several ways of playing that game, my friend. Help! Help! Oh, I can't stand it. I gotta get going. See any reason for just lying here and watching that bomb go off? Here's where Clark Kent takes time out. It's Superman's turn. I'll just snap these ropes and take that battery thing apart. Now I think it's time to leave. We've got a date at the dam, too, you know. I'm coming, Miss Lane. Lock the door, are they? Well, I need a little light exercise. Oh, she's fainted. That's lucky. So much the better. When she comes to, she'll never know what happened. Uh, we'll have to pick her up and get out of here. I'd like to follow Kino to where the mask is hiding out. I'm afraid to leave Lois here alone. It wouldn't do to take her with me. I'll go back to the dam. Up! Up! And away! Carrying the unconscious form of Lois Lane in his arms, Superman leaps into the sky and heads toward a patch of woodland near the dam, where he can arrive without being seen. And meanwhile, on the dam itself, troops patrol and police keep watch. Suddenly, a car roars up and stops with a wild scream of brakes. Commissioner, uh, we didn't expect you up here. Yeah, never mind that, Sergeant. Quick, have you found anything? No, sir, not a thing. Has there been a reporter up here, a fellow named Kent? Kent? Yeah. Uh, no, sir, nobody by that name. No, oh, here he comes now, and the girl with him. Oh, Kent! Kent! Coming, Commissioner. Well, how did you get up here so fast? Uh, I followed you. 
Just after you left my office, I got a message. Great heavens, what's the matter with Miss Lane? Well, I don't know. I don't remember. Well, we, uh, we had a little accident driving up. Accident? Nothing serious, though, Miss Lane. You wish she was hurt? Oh, no, no. Miss Lane will be all right. Tell me now, you, you say you got a message? Yes. Come out here, Ken. Out on top of the dam, where we won't be overheard. All right. Oh, uh, you come too, Miss Lane. Commissioner. Yes? What is it? Another message from the mask? Now, wait a minute. I'll show it to you. What's that? The dam. What's happening? Ken, Ken, do you hear that? Do you feel it? It's the dam. Yes. It's beginning to shake. Get out of here. Run for the shore. Quick. Come on. Turn it. Sudden crisis at the Harley Dam. What is the meaning of the ominous rumbling? And has it anything to do with the mysterious message the commissioner got? The message that brought him racing to the dam? Tune in next time and follow the story. And remember, be sure to tune in the next thrilling installment of the amazing transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky. Look. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics magazine. So that was Superman Story 20 from 1940s. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We have another video coming out real soon.